Hey friends, we're doing some special episodes and today we're looking at a private homeowner's home outside and what they've done to make it their personal paradise. So we're going to go on this little journey together and I'm going to tell you a little bit of history about the house and what they've done to it. So what's really unique about this house, there's a few things and there's three gardens we're going to look at. But right over here, this looks like a wishing well, but actually when the house was custom built over a hundred years ago, around 1910, this was built as a bird bath, a custom bird bath, not a wishing well. So I'll tell you about this house. This house was actually designed off of a home, a cottage on the coastal line of Rhode Island. The first owner, she fell in love with spending her times at the seaside coast and she had her home built to look like one of the cottages there. As you notice, there are window boxes with flowers in them, and every summer the flowers are put in, and then the wooden shingles are closed. The shutters are closed during the winter. You'll also notice the roof line is the roof is all still wooden shingles, as well as the house. You will see it's still preserved in this beautiful look of years gone past. But what's interesting about this house also is this is the front of the house, not the side. You wouldn't be able to tell by the side of the road because a hundred years ago, this was a private estate and there were several homes on it. And this house overlooked the carriage house with the figure eight. So it was a private estate and this is one of the homes on it. So the first of the gardens in the front of the house is right here and you'll see the beautiful stone that's laid. Now, this house also, what's interesting, is for many years, nobody could see this house. It was like the Snow White house. It was tucked behind a bed of shrubs that were overgrown and tucked the house away. The, the prior owners cleaned it up, softened it up, and found their own personal look. So once again, they have the stones here. They have a little astilbe planted right here. You'll see the little astilbe a lot of perennials and lots of beautiful little figurines that they added the special touch oops i don't want to fall in and a little tick seed that's starting to pop open so let's go to garden number two we're going to walk back and remember this was tucked away now you get to see this house but before no one could see it so let's go on back and i'm going to show you some of the plants that actually hid the home from the public and over here you have the rhododendrons. They were overgrown and huge. They're still absolutely beautiful, the color. I love this pink, oh my gosh. But now they're managed and maintained. And then we're gonna go right through here. Isn't this so pretty? Here's one of the larger ones that's been on the property for many, many years. And look at the white, beautiful flower. Oh my gosh, it's so gorgeous. Okay, let's go back to garden number two of this house. Isn't it so enchanting and gorgeous? It's so adorable. Let's go back here and you'll see some of the things that you probably own in your home and property, such as your hosta. You'll see the hosta. Hydrangea, which is way back there. There's a little purple flower just popping. Solar lights, which I love. Solar lights. We have a little solar bird bath right here and the sun is uh, not peeking out yet. so. It's not, you know, using its little fountain effect right now. You will see lamb's ear, which is right here. And as I'm down here, I want to bring you over to something when they unearthed the home and were, you know, doing all their own landscaping. This is a lava rock that they found. Isn't this neat? So they actually use this as part of their display and their landscaping. But what's really pretty about this property is this, this grill they found. This was built with the original house. So this is over a hundred years old. This, they refurbished it and now it, it's just this beautiful little piece from the original home that they found secretly tucked away. So now number three is really special. So get ready, get ready for this as we go behind the gate. Here we go. Don't get too excited. And I should have worn my bathing suit. Yeah, right. Come on in. Look at this spa-like backyard paradise. 
this is so gently placed with flowers properly along with the pool. And as you could see, they carried the same theme with the stones and their little figurines. They also have over here their hostas. We're going to just gently go by and see some of the things. But if you look over to the left, you will see the bird houses. And there are tons of little bird houses and tons of little birds, and they love it here. So, and there's also um, a butterfly bush right by one of the bird houses way back there. And Tixie is right underneath this bird house. So let's go ahead and go on by the little tomatoes that are being planted. I'm ready to go in, aren't you? And as you can see, there's the ceramic pots that all have that really gentle water feel with the potted plants in a vertical, which is what we'll talk about at some time. Oh my gosh, I have to touch it, I can't help it. Oh, it's perfect temperature. Sorry about that. And now we're gonna go over here and you'll see lots of a still be planted. And they're in different colors. This is a stilby, it's a perennial. Over here is yarrow, which we've talked about in some of my other little episodes. And then we have some baby coneflowers, and these are perennials and they're pollinators. So every little nature lover is gonna be happy in a few, actually probably in a few days. Another little solar bath, isn't this adorable? I love this. Woo, don't wanna fall over that. And over here we have Jacob's Ladder. This is so cute. But before we end our tour, I want to show you one last thing that's very special. If we could pop right on over here. This, actually, the husband that lives here, he made this stained glass piece. And it is just so cool. They put it in in the winter, and then they bring it out to have it out for the summer. So friends, I'm going to take a seat over here on one of the little mushroom stools that I think is so neat. And I hope that you were able to learn something, be inspired, and know that we all have our own personal paradise. And I look forward to showing you more. Love ya.